Hey guys, Baz here, giving you a 1 vs 1 on Lost Temple. It's going to be Terran vs Terran. In the red trunks, it's going to be Tim Time, who's at the very bottom. And at the very top is going to be Paranoia, and he's in the blue trunks, playing as Terran as well. And apparently he sucks at StarCraft, and he's horrible at it, so... That's not good. We'll, we'll see how this plays out, guys. Um, Lost Temple's one of my favorite maps. Um, I think every StarCraft player really likes this map. Short rush distance... A lot of choke points, a lot of cheesing uh, places you can hide or climb up cliffs. Like right here, you can get your Reapers up there, or your Colossi right there as well for your uh, Reapers or Colossi, depending on uh, who you're playing. And Paranoia is doing some early scouting here, and uh, we also have some more choke points there. We're going to see where Paranoia is going to be going here. Uh, unfortunately, he is not scouting in the proper uh, way or direction for that matter. So, uh, yeah, he's not going to find anyone. And Tim Time, kind of going with a nod build here, he's going to start off with his racks first, where Paranoia is going to go standard Terran, and he's going to be uh, Supply Depot, or Depot, as you would correctly say it in English. But uh, Paranoia, not able to find Tim Time, unfortunately. So Tim Time's just going to be building away without any pressure to get rid of the SCV. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, I, ca I can only imagine that uh, Tim Time is going to be... Probably a little def more defensive, which is um, okay, I guess, for Terran versus Terran. Kind of allows you to tech up a little bit, but unfortunately, Paranoia is going to be able to uh, scout inside his base because he didn't get that walled off uh, in time. Unit count is 11-11, uh, so that's good. We have two pretty good Terran players, I guess. They, they both know what they're doing. Uh, walled off for Paranoia. Paranoia has got that early gas, so we're going to probably either seeing some tech or harass, kind of see which one comes first. But uh, Paranoia looks like uh, he is going to be, unfortunately, cheesing. And uh, a Terran cheese is annoying because it's just... They can just mass so many units so many quickly, which which is unfortunate. But uh, Tim Time does not see this. Um, let's see if these SCVs are going to actually see this. And it looks like, no, they're not. He's deciding not to go that far, so... Paranoia gets away with the cheese. We're going to see uh, if he's going to build the racks in there. Maybe uh, take the racks up, fly it over to that base. We'll see what happens here, though. But uh, Tim Time uh, finally getting his blocked off. Got another Marine here. Another early gas. So it looks like both Terran players are going to be actually uh, teching. Excuse me. I have allergies. I apologize. You got a tech lab going up there. So that's good. Uh, looks like that racks just got canceled. Which, uh, okay, cool. And I uh, got that tech lab going up there. Uh, that is completely walled off now. There's still Marines pumping out of there. Um, oh boy, we got another barracks going up here. It's going to be a uh, ultimate cheese right there. I wonder if Tim Time can actually see. Let's actually check, guys. Um, hopefully, yeah, sorry about that camera thing. Let's go back there. And no, Tim Time cannot actually see Paranoia, which is unfortunate. Uh, worker, or, or yeah, worker count is still 1313, so they're still dead even. So, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to, the, uh, Tim Time is not going to be able to see this cheese coming from Paranoia, so, um, we're going to be have, Tim Time's going to have to be very, very careful. Yeah, we have more, more units being pumped out by Paranoia. Uh, they're being pumped out at the main base, so, uh, he might be hitting, uh, Tim Time from both sides, which is pretty smart, actually. So, uh, we got a reactor. Yep, we got, re got a reactor. So, it's going to be a definite cheese, and that mineral line is going to get assaulted if he's not careful. Unfortunately, he is uh, walling and defending his choke point, which is standard for a Terran player, but is not in the right place in this side, um, match because he cannot see anything going on, unfortunately. Yeah, he can't even see that reactor, so that's not good. Worker count still pretty dead even. So the resources is not going to play a factor at all in this uh, this match. But unfortunately, Tim Time is still bunkering off his choke point. So uh, Paranoia is not going to be able to actually get past the choke point, but Paranoia already has behind the en enemy lines down there. So Tim Time is pretty much screwed if either way you look at it. You got more Marines being pumped out there. That reactor is definitely one of the uh, Terran... Uh, favorite toys for early rushes and even mass units on like 4v4 or or even 2 vs 2 if if you uh, go into the the mass unit thing got a factory going up by Tim Time so he's probably going to see uh, either siege tanks or um other higher tech so uh 
yeah, we're, we're going to see how this plays out. I I'm actually quite interested in seeing if Tim Time is going to be actually able to see this in time. Unfortunately, he probably will not, and he's going to have his mineral line absolutely just destroyed by those Marines. Got a Marauder there. Starport, so he's going to be going air. So, unfortunately, Tim Time is looking really, really weak right now. He's not... Um, not able to uh, actually see. Actually, he did. He did. He is going to be able to see the bunker going up there. I wonder if he's going to be. He's not doing anything about it. That is not good. Tim Time is not doing anything. Oh, now his SCVs are actually coming in, trying to get on this bar bunker. We're going to see if they get Marines being backed up. Oh crap! Tim Time is. There goes the GG. That was a very early GG, guys. He knew he was done and. Paranoia just walked all over him. Unfortunately, the Terran cheese worked. Hey guys, Bass here again. I'm going to be actually trying something uh, new for this uh, this uh, episode here. I'm going to kind of do a kind of a little small breakdown um, on the uh, what happened and uh, what players could have done better. Now, granted, I am not the best player at StarCraft. This is just from my opinions and just kind of how I saw the game. But, uh... Unfortunately, Tim Time just got rickrolled with the uh, the cheese there, and uh, what what he definitely could have really done was once he saw Paranoia's SCV go into his base, he needed to follow that with just one other SCV to make sure he wasn't actually going to get cheese, which is what happened to Tim Time. Uh, Paranoia played this game very very well. He hit his bunker in the correct spot. He scouted early, which is a key in Terran versus Terran if you want to cheese your opponent. Or you could uh, either go towards the, uh, the, the backside and plant a barracks right, right by the cliffs and do Reapers, but then, but then that would require Paranoia to go uh, much, much more early gas and make sure that he had his defenses up properly in case uh, Tim Time rushed him. But unfortunately, Paranoia played this game with just much better macro and much better uh i don't want to say much better skill but he he was he he outskilled tim, tim time in the cheese and rush factor of this game paranoia did an excellent job with showing us how to uh do a very very quick cheese if your opponent is not paying attention um i'd like to also add that if you notice that he did not build his barracks right away he was waiting to make sure tim time actually did not see it and unfortunately that is what happened and that is why tim time pretty much got steamrolled with just a couple marines and a bunker so uh tim time had an excellent defense in the front of his base but unfortunately his mineral line and the rest of his base was completely open to any type of backdoor cheesing that might have actually happened i hope you guys enjoyed the new segment to the show uh please let me know uh if my analysis is any good or if i should keep doing this and i will see you guys next time